Hi VFAM and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Keely. This is Mason and we just had our second baby. So she's in her car seat right now. We're just about to get discharged from the hospital. If you guys want to watch part one to this where I actually deliver the baby, I will link that video up here. But I'm so excited and I also am really swollen. My face is extremely swollen and I'm one day postpartum. And my ring, <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys all this. My ring had to come off because my finger got swollen. But anyways, with all that postpartum stuff aside, I just had to share because I want to document my journey, my weight loss journey. But anyways, we're packing up to leave right now. We got the gold ticket to leave. We got everything all packed, ready to go. Baby girl is in her car seat. I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited to get out of here. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. This car seat weighs nothing. <laughs> it's the Nuna car seat. It's fancy. Okay, I'm gonna grab the rest of my stuff. Let's go. Here we go. So exciting. This is the best part about the whole thing. The best, best part. The best part is when we're in the truck. Oh yeah. Oh, she looks so cute. Look at her, her eyes are open. Are they? Yeah. She likes when we're actually walking. And she's in her little outfit right now. So cute. Her first outfit. I got so lost first time I had to make this trip and now I just have it down. <laughs> You're ready to go, dad times two. <laughs> yep. Let's bring her home, guys. Okay, let's put you in. We got her all in there, strapped in on the base. We're gonna go home, little baby girl. Oh, yeah. Okay. This thing isn't going anywhere. Okay, let's go home. You are your limo tent <laughs> so the sun won't hurt you? <laughs> yep, let's go. We are in the car now. I can't get over what my face looks like. I feel like I literally look like the moon emoji. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I, seriously swelled up so much like you guys if you don't know me you guys wouldn't know but Mason knows me and he knows yeah. I overnight she swelled you'll be fine in like and two days and baby girls in the back seat right and then now there's Kinsley's car seat right there Kinsley's car seats right next to her I'm so the excited whole, the whole gang so Kinsley is our first daughter and Kinsley's probably going to be coming over later tonight or we'll be grabbing her tomorrow morning. It's just depending on how I feel. I need to get some sleep for sure. That was literally the hardest thing ever was to sleep in there. The nurses were literally bugging us every like 10 minutes. And those beds suck. That's yeah. the other thing is those beds suck. So last night I probably got an hour total of sleep. I am starving. We need to go home and unpack everything. And then hopefully soon we'll get a film with Kenny meeting her baby sister for the first time. So of course, where did we have to go after? The it was baby? conveniently on the way home. So yeah. we had to stop here. As you can see, the directions literally brought us here. So. Because it's lunchtime. Yes, it's lunchtime. We're hungry. We're trying to get something easy and go home and relax. Yep. So we just ordered our food. I was so excited to eat. I feel like hospital food just ain't my thing. Hospital food is not where it is at. No. And I've been craving in and out ever since. We made it home and Mason's unpacking everything. And look at how cute. She did so good in the car. Didn't make a little peep. Now I'm gonna take her out. I'm literally so obsessed with her. She's so cute. There's nothing like bringing your baby home from the hospital. All right guys, so we're back at our house. Um, as you can tell, I'm in different clothes. I took a shower, got kind of cleaned up because I felt gross because the hospital shower helped but didn't do much. And then I also went and got some Dutch Bros because Kaylee has like no energy right now. So I went and got her one. Here's her drink right there. And Kaylee is with the baby. So I've been having the worst cramps 
and if you guys didn't know after you give birth your uterus like tries to shrink back to its normal size so it literally feels like you're having labor contractions mm. or like really really bad period cramps times like 20 and apparently with every single baby it gets worse and in this case it's true like with Kinsley they were not this bad it's at the point where I like I need to go out and buy like some heating pads for right here maybe we should get you an epidural I wish <laughs> But I am in so much pain. We were going to go get mm. Kenny tonight. I was going to have my mom bring over Kenny tonight. But I am in so much pain. I need to figure out like how to manage this. I took a bunch of Advil. Or not Advil. I took a bunch of ibuprofen. Motrin. Yeah. I took a bunch of Motrin. I took a thousand milligrams because that's what I was prescribed. But it's literally not doing anything. Um, Take Just double so, it. No. <laughs> So we need to find, we need to find something that's going to make this manageable because right now this is so much pain. I literally feel like I'm giving birth, but I'm like at the early stages of labor. <laughs> like it hurts so bad. Poor thing. I know. So we're just chilling here. She's like the only thing keeping me going. Yeah. She's been so good. She hasn't really made much of a peep. She's just been sleeping, eating, Show and chilling. Show all of her hair that yeah, they after they washed so it so much hair it's so soft it's crazy because like with kenny like kenny had no hair <laughs> he is so knocked out right now i, I want to kiss her. i'm so excited to use our snoo yeah so tonight she's gonna be sleeping in there i'm so excited do you think she's gonna like it yeah and then we I need to move oh, we need to move her little thing this thing here let me go grab it we need to get her little nightlight sound machine thing and put it in. I had it in Kinsley's room for the time being because she really liked it. I don't blame her, but we need to put this in our room. We need to put this in our room. Do you know what I just realized? That the sky is blue. No, I think I left her name sign in the hospital. No, you didn't. I didn't? Nope. I put it in... Phew. I put it in the folder with all her paperwork. Okay, good. Don't worry, I got you. The little one? Yeah. That was like this big? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saved it. Okay, good. I was literally about to cry. So we are just relaxing at home right now. I can't get over this. It's so weird having a baby with like so much hair. Kenny's definitely gotten a lot more hair as she's gotten older. But like, oh my gosh, it's so weird because Kinsley's hair is so light. Like even though she has a good amount of hair, like, oh my gosh, that looks... Like, so much hair. I think I came out with a lot of hair. Yeah, I think that she got all this hair from Mason, like Mason's side of the family, because I was a bald baby like Kinsley, so I definitely It's all you white people with your bald heads. Mason, you're like the whitest white boy. I'm Mason actually has... Mexican, bro. Mason actually has Mexican genes, if you oh, guys yeah. didn't know. So I feel like Mason's, like, Hispanic side of the family gave her this beautiful, long, thick brown hair. Um, <laughs> which is so funny because Mason is the farthest you would think from Mexican. Who is that? I guess someone's at our front door, so be right back. So it is now around dinner time and we got to start making some dinner. Someone is in her new swing <laughs> and she likes it. She's just chilling. She has been so good, you guys. I am so obsessed with her and I cannot wait. For Kenny to see her, she's going to freak out. What do you want to eat for dinner? And the house is a mess with all of my medicine everywhere and postpartum recovery. Mason got a sticker maker because it does all kinds of stuff. He's planning to start making some stickers. I'm trying, um, trying to get ideas right now. Yeah, so. We're super excited. We're gonna make some V Fam stickers. Okay, so Kaylee's over there with the baby, and I took some time. I was on Instagram. Um, I'm sure a lot of you saw that, but I was talking about how we just got like a vinyl vinyl sticker machine thing, and uh, I wanted to start trying to make like some cool, simple stickers that we could give out to you guys, and I came up with this one. So I'm just over here making it. It's kind of a pain. I think I'm gonna change it because the VF that's in the middle right there is so hard to 
try and weed out with these little tweezer things. And I have this thing. And I have a razor blade to try and get them out sometimes. <clears throat> it's not fun. But it's kind of cool. So I think I'm going to keep weeding them out. And then you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. I will record myself doing one so you guys know what I'm talking about. And that is the final one. That was actually probably the easiest one I've done. That's crazy. I've literally been fighting the V and the F and for whatever reason in this one, it came out perfect. So I think we're gonna start doing these. I don't know, I'll probably sell them for like a few dollars. It kind of takes me a while. I think it's the V and the F. Some of them are just kind of a pain, so. Yeah, let me know what you think. I'm gonna also come up with some other designs. I think I already have a couple picked out and some of you actually made us a couple, so that's really nice. Q is dying over here. And I'm embarrassed because of how swollen I am. Oh, uh, you look fine. No, I don't. Look at these feet. <laughs> Show my feet. <laughs> look at my hands. I'm just gonna hide. It's gonna go back to normal. It's because of all your IVs. Are we gonna do anything else? I'm pretty tired. It's kind of late. No, I think we're gonna go to bed. It's yeah, I think we're gonna go to bed. It's 11:40 right now, oh. and uh, our sleep schedule is pretty messed up from everything going on lately. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys about the whole sticker thing. If you have any other ideas, just let me know because I want to come up with more ideas. I just want them to be somewhat simple, so I don't have to fight it like these ones. I kind of have to fight them. It's kind of a pain, but it's still fun to do and hopefully you guys like it. Now we're gonna go to bed and yep, put her in her snoo and clean up my mess over here real quick. I guess we'll do that before we go to bed. I want to show them their snoo. Oh my gosh. I'm hurting so bad. And look how Kaylee walks. I'm literally dying. This hurts so bad. I've never had like contractions like these. <laughs> well, they're kind of contractions. Oh my gosh, our room's a mess. Everything's a mess. We just got home. I'll, I'll clean it up tomorrow. So I just put her in her bassinet for the first time. We're going to see how it works. And she's all swaddled. I think she likes it. Yep. She gets swaddled in this oh, and strapped up so she can't like roll over or anything. Yeah. I think we can just hit that button. Tired. Let's see if she likes it. She's so cute. Well, someone seems to be a fan of it. She likes it. But anyways, this mama and tired daddy are going to head off to bed. I'm so, so exhausted. I'm hoping that this contraption here helps me get some sleep tonight. I also like the white noise like built into it. So we're gonna go to bed and obviously wake up every two hours to breastfeed. So 
It's gonna be a long night, but this is so meaningful to us because this is baby's first night at home. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, V-Fam.